Okay, getting my screen set up. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know there are no technical difficulties so I know that everything is okay, so that I know I can go ahead and start. <laughs> Lolly says yes, thank you Lolly, Mwah. thank you. Helga says yes, thank you Helga. Mary's here, hello Mary. Miley's here, hello. Hello Cecilia. Saima says yes, thank you Saima. Cecilia says yes, thank you Cecilia. Sleepwalker says yes, thank you Sleepwalker. Mary says yes, thank you. Hello, hello, Miley says yes. Okay, let's see. Tetsuro says yes, thank you Tetsuro. Ella says yes, thank you Ella. I'm doing good, Mitra. Hanan says yes, thank you. Mohammed says hello, hello, Mohammed. Hello, Zuri Den. Hello, hello. Okay, well, it's good to see everyone because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So um, thank you for doing that. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your kind support. Hello, John. All right, so you know what we do. We always have a toast for good luck. Let's have our toast for good luck. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up and we will have to toast yes two toasts our first toast will be for the green team you see them their names are in green they support me they support the channel by supporting me and the channel they are supporting everyone so let's give the green team a big thank you cheers if you don't have a beverage we can fist bump bump cheers bump cheers and because we had a toast we have to have a drink Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Now our second toast. Yes, it's for you because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, informative, productive, and what did I say? Let's see. <laughs> I, I lost track here. Let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Yes. All right. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. All right, all right. Well, now that we had our toast, we're going to have good luck. Yes, 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 for sure, for sure. Okay, and right here is today's lesson plan. Let's talk about today's lesson plan, shall we? Hey Samuel, how are you doing? Thank you, Tetsuro. Okay, we are going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four. We are going to do five activities. Yes, five. We're going to do form a sentence, which one is different, dictation cards, negative questions, that's going to be a video and worksheet, and of course, Lolly's Revenge. Yes, so five activities for you to practice and um, about practice a great place to practice is in the chat and to be in the chat you must be a subscriber i do that to keep the bots out to keep the spamming out so we have a safe and fun place to practice our english together so if you want to practice with us please join my channel then you can get into the chat and you could practice with us. So um, please do that. And um, like I say, you have to be a subscriber. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out. So we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. Marcos is here. Hello, Marcos. How are you? Trolley's here. Hello, Trolley. Sabine's here. Hello, Sabine. All right, glad to see you. I'm happy you came here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's get right into it, shall we? Our first activity is form a sentence. And I will write a pattern and you will make a sentence 
based on the pattern. So let's go ahead and start. Our first activity is activity number one is form a sentence okay and here it is have you yet okay so I want you to put in right here I want you to fill in this spot in the pattern have you mm, yet so please make a sentence using this pattern. Have you mm, yet? Olivia, hello, Olivia. O okay, Cecilia, have you tired? No, so um, it, it's like um, you don't put it, so tired doesn't work. Sleepwalk, have you not woken up yet? Okay, have you not woken up yet? Or um, maybe, have you woken up yet? So maybe it's better not to put it into the negative there. Have you woken up yet? That might be better. Okay, Helga, have you, okay, have you had your breakfast yet? Have you had your breakfast yet? Okay, um, have, we need the, 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 Past participle, John. So, have you gone yet? Have you gone yet? Okay, Trolley, have you read the book yet or have you read the newspaper yet? So, we need more information. Okay, Sleepwalker, have you, have you seen it yet? Okay, good. Mitra, have you eaten dinner yet? That's good. Tetsu, have you finished? Okay, we don't need hour because it hasn't been finished yet so you don't need a time so have you finished your homework yet have you finished your homework yet lolly have you done your homework yet good mary have you drunk your coffee yet okay raj how are you doing raj Mwah, good to see raj um have you not gone yet okay we don't want the have you gone yet we don't need the negative have you gone yet umesh have you met the prime minister yet have you met the prime minister yet sabine have you okay so have you had your coffee yet sabine have you had your coffee yet samuel have you had the sushi yet helga have you had your breakfast yet? Very good. Mitra. Oh, sorry. I haven't yet. You could say that. So, um, have you had your breakfast yet? No, I haven't had my breakfast yet. Okay, Niva. Have you eaten your snack yet? Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Raj. Have you had breakfast yet? John. Have you eaten? your rice yet or have you eaten the rice yet so you need like uh the past participle have 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 okay sleep Parker, have you visited it yet mike or you could say have you visited your mother yet have you visited your friend yet mitra have you read my message yet very good Lolly, have you baked the onion pie yet? Neva, um, explain the pattern. So Neva, so the pattern like, um, have you, so it means like, have you completed it? So at this time, yet, right? So we are speaking now. So is it done at this time? So yet means at this time. So is it done at this time? Okay. So, so it yet means 
like, has it been completed at this time? So you, at the time of the conversation. So we're talking now. And so has it been done? So have you um, done the wash yet? Have you cleaned the, have you cleaned your bedroom yet? Have you finished the chores yet? So is it completed at this time? The time we are talking. Okay, good. So Helga, I like it. Have you gone for a walk yet? Okay, good. Oh, I like it, Ella. Have you decided where you are going on vacation yet? I like it. Tessa, have you eaten munchies yet? Okay, so um, have you finished all the munchies yet? So it's a completed action. Have you completed the action? That, that's better. So have you completed the action? Okay, so basically that's what it means. Have you completed the action? Have you read the newspaper yet? Okay. Oh, Maya's here? Where's Maya? Oh, there she is. Hello, Maya. Oh, 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 okay, so John, um, have you gone to school yet? So we need... So with the have, we need the past participle. So the verb, so we have a have, and so the verb needs to be in the past participle. Okay, so you have to use the past participle verb. So that'd be gone, eaten, read. So the irregular verbs. So if it's an irregular verb, it needs to be in the past participle. Yeah, good, John. Have you done your work yet? That's perfect. Okay, good, good, good. Well, we're busy today. We got like worksheets and, and dictation cards. And, and, and so we're going to, tomorrow we're going to review this. So I think I'm looking at the clock and it's time to change activities. So um, we have lots of examples in the chat. So um, if you're not quite sure exactly what, how to do this, we will have more practice tomorrow. Plus, please look at the chat. You can see lots of example sentences, right? We learn from each other. So basically, have you mm, yet? And so that means, ha, um, have you completed the action? At the, at the time of the conversation, at the time you are talking to each other, is the action completed? And the verb needs to be in the past participle because you're using have, okay? All right, let's go to our next activity, and that is a worksheet called Which One is Different? So our second activity, <clears throat> Which One is Different? And our topic is Summer Shopping. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. <clears throat> summer shopping. So summer's coming up, and so maybe you need to go shopping for your summer, for summer, yeah? So maybe you need to do some shopping for summer. Oh, good, Hanan. 
、um, has Mark's live stream started yet? Yes, it has. <laughs> Oh Helga, have you seen the cherry blossoms yet? Okay, which one is different? And right here we got the worksheet, and you get my worksheet on my Patreon page. Support me there, and you get all of the worksheets. There's a link for my Patreon in the descriptions below, so please check that out. We have two groups, and there are four vocabulary words. In each group, you have to decide which one of these is different from the others. And I always give this example: red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Bicycle is different because it is transportation. Or you can say a bicycle is different because it can go fast. Or you can say a bicycle is different because it has two. Wheels, or you can say a bicycle is different because I use one every day. Or you can say a bicycle is different because I have one. What? So there's no wrong answers. It's your imagination. It's your idea. <clears throat> It's the the purpose of this is for you to communicate your ideas, to express your ideas, to tell us what you think. That is communication, telling the other person your opinion, your ideas, what you think about it. Yeah. Okay. So I will put the worksheet on the on the screen so you can see it. Remember, you can get your own PDF file at my Patreon. Okay. Here we go. Which one is different? There it is. Let's make it full screen, and then you can make sentences. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit larger here. There we go. And now we're full screen here, aren't we? Okay, good, good, good. Which one is different? Okay, so group one keywords: a dress, sandals, sunglasses, shorts. Which one is different, and why? Group two keywords: a parasol, a hat, a beach ball, sunblock. Which one is different? One more time. Group one keywords: address, sandals, sunglasses, shorts. Which one is different? Group two keywords: a parasol, a hat, a beach ball, sunblock. Which one is different and why? Sleepwalker is on the board. She says address is different because it's only for women. Okay, Cecilia. I think sunglasses. Because it's hot. Sabo, hello. Hmm. Okay, Lolly, sunglasses because they are not clothes. Helga, I think a dress. Is different because it is in the singular tense, yeah, or singular form, I should say, in the singular form. Sleepwalker, a hat is different because you can use it not only on the beach. Sabine, I think sunglasses because、um, they are not clothes. So they, so we use sunglasses like plural. So you would say they are. Umesh sunglasses because they are made of glass. Good, good. Sleepwalker address is different because it's singular. Yes, Mary. I think address because it's singular. It's a singular noun, right? It's a singular noun. Ah.、Uh, Right, so when you have a in front of the noun, that means it's singular. Okay, so shorts because、um, it is plural. Yeah, Helga, singular form. 
Oh, okay. Okay, now trousers are different, John. Shorts, you know, they're, they're, they, they're, trousers are, we don't say short trousers. When you say trousers, we think of like long pants, right? Shorts are, um, <laughs> how can I, so shorts are, you know, they're, they're above the knee and trousers are to your ankles, <laughs> I guess. Tetsu, I think sunglasses because it's, they are made of plastic. They are made of plastic. Some address is singular. All the others are plural. Trolley, I think sandals because you use them on the beach. Use them on the beach. John, sunblock is skin protection. So you put sunblock on your skin to protect your skin from the sun. So you do not get a sunburn. So you use sunblock on your skin so you don't get a sunburn. Sunblock protects your skin from the sun. Helga, I think sandals are different because you put them on your feet. Miley, group one shorts are different because they're only for men. The shorts are different because they are only for men. Okay. <laughs> Umash sandals because they are made of good quality rubber. They are made of good quality rubber. Cecilia, I think a beach ball because it's used for water games. Oh, Togo, hello. All right, Sabo is from Togo. Welcome, Sabo. Uh, Sleepwalker sunglasses are different because it's for protection of your eyes. Lolly, a beach ball because it doesn't protect you from the sun. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it. Good, Lolly. A parasol protects you from the sun, right? A hat does and sunblock, but not a beach ball. Good, Lolly. Yeah, Helga, sunglasses protect your eyes. Maya, sunglasses because they let us see dresses, sandals, and shorts on a sunny day. Good, Maya. I like it. Very um, creative. That's being creative. I like it. Julie, hello. Julia is here. Okay, Sabine. Sunglasses because they are not closed. Perfect. Sleepwalk, let's see. Miley. Group two. The beach ball is different because it does not protect you from the sun. It does not protect people from the sun. Okay, John, I play with a beach ball on the playground. I play with a beach ball on the playground. Shams, hello Shams. I think sandals because they are made of plastic. Sonia, I think sunblock is different because it protects our skin for sun tanning. All right, Julia, good afternoon. Mary, I think a dress because we can wear it in all the seasons, not only in summer. A dress because it's singular, rest or plural. You're welcome, Lolly. That was very good. It was. So I, I'm... So when I made this, you know, I, I think of some ideas, right? When I, when I make the sheep, but that, you know, I can't, I don't, you guys come up with other ideas. That's what I like about it. So I just put items together that I think are kind of, we can do a few, you know, like, but then I don't think of all of them that like you guys do. And that, I didn't think of it that, I didn't, when I did the worksheet, I, had, I didn't think about that. And that was great, Lolly. Oh, Umesh, I like it. Shorts because they are informal. Good, good. Lolly, sunblock because there isn't an A in it. Parasol has an A, hat has an A, beach ball has an A. No A in sunblock, yes, yes. 
Oh, good, Tetra. I think a beach ball because it can burst. Yeah, it can pop. It can burst. It could puncture. Miley, a beach ball is different because it rolls. The others are still nice. You guys are coming up with great answers. Sonia, beach ball is different because we can enjoy it on the beach. We can enjoy it on the beach. Lolly, sunblock because you put it on your body. Tetsuro, I think a hat because we can wear it. Sleepwalker, the beach ball is different. So you need to inflate it to use it. Yes. So a beach ball is different because you need to inflate it to use it. Yep. Oh, Sabo, I'm from America. I'm from California, Los Angeles, California, but I live in Japan. So I'm here in Japan. I'm an English teacher in Japan. Oh, Tetsuro, I like it. I think a parasol because it has a bar. Yeah, nice. Or actually we say, we say pole. So the, the parasol, the parasol, it has a pole. So we say a pole. A bar, it's weird. A bar goes like this. So a bar is horizontal and a pole is, is a parallel. So yeah. You know, like a pull-up bar, um, use a bar, you hang your laundry on a bar, a pole, right? So a pole, you put a parasol on a pole, um, there's like, you know, a, a, a stop sign is on a pole. So that, that's interesting, right? So a bar and a pole. Okay, good, Tetsuro. Okay. I'm looking at the clock. We're going to review this again. I, I want to, I, I don't want, I want, I want us to have time to do all the activities. And of course, um, it's good to have a little break and then we'll, we'll do this tomorrow, we'll review it tomorrow. And so you have more practice with it. So um, let's change activities. Remember, you go to my Patreon and you can um, download the worksheet for yourself. Support me on Patreon. Patreon and get all the worksheets and cards we do in our live stream classes. Okay, so let's let's keep let's keep the activities moving. Let's keep the class moving. Let's um, change activities. We got a lot to do today. We got videos to do. We got more worksheets to do. We got dictation cards. We got Lolly's revenge to do. So um, lots of, lots of activities. Okay, so we're going to our next activity right now and number three dictation cards everyone dictation cards so right here I got dictation cards you need a pencil and you need paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word all right number three dictation cards Okay, and there will, oh, and the topic is next time and sometime. Next time, sometime. Okay, next time is um, after the current one or like after the, um, after the current, um situation so or we could say occasion or something like that so after the current um let's say activity and then sometime um an unspecified point in the future
Okay, so, so let's say, okay, the current activity. So, hey, we're having a party today. You go, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'll go next time. So the next party, right? Not this party, but the next one. Um, hey, um, there's, we're having a, we're having a meeting tomorrow. Can you come? Ah, oh, sorry, I can't make it. I'll come to the, I'll come next time, right? So I can't make it this one, but I'll go to the following one, all right? So after the current activity. So can you make it to the meeting tomorrow? No, I can't. I'll go to the next one. And then um, sometime an unspecified point in the future. So let's have, let's have a, let's have coffee sometime next week, sometime next week. So some unspecified point in the future. Let's have, let's have coffee sometime, right? So it's in the future, but we don't know exactly when. We don't, we haven't decided the day or time yet. Yeah, so it's unspecified. We will, let, let's have coffee, okay. Um, we'll have coffee sometime next week. Give me a call, look at your schedule, I'll look at my schedule, then we will decide later. Okay, so that is our topic next time and sometime. And we are going to do four activities, right? Or four steps. One, two, three, four, you know. Step one is dictation. And I will go, of course, I will go fast and slow. So the first round, we will go fast. And the second round, we will go slow. Then after dictation, we'll have shadowing. Right, and that will be speaking practice. And then after shadowing, we will take turns. I will say the sentence, and then you will say the sentence. And then step four is a quiz. Okay, so dictation step one, and that is listening and writing practice. So you need a pencil and paper. And I will say each card, on each sabo, thank you, sabo, thank you. So we have one, okay, Lolly has a question. Sometime, someday. Ah, uh, not exactly, Lolly, pretty close. Um, oh, Maya, someone asked, asked you about me. Actually, more than 20 years. I came to Japan in 1996, so it's like over, it's like 26 years. <laughs> but yeah, long time. I've been in Japan a long time. Um, okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards, and um, each card has sentences, and I will say each sentence, um, there you go. Thank you, Maya. So I will say each sentence three times fast, right? But don't worry. After I go fast, 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 then I will go slow, slow, slow. All right? So if the first time was too fast for you, that's okay. Um, because the, the, the second round, I will go slow. And you will be able to see. Um, you will be able to hear each word I say. And then you can check your sentence to see if you missed any words or you got any words wrong. Oh, uh, Tomas, thank you, Tomas. All my, all my, every, all my lessons, all my classes are on my YouTube um, channel. They're all like in the playlist. Everything is there. So if you've missed any of my classes, any of the live streams, any of my videos, I have over 3,000 videos, over 3,000 <laughs> on my YouTube channel. So you just go to my place, everything's on my YouTube channel. Okay, let's do it, everybody. Are you ready, John? Oh, so, so oh, sorry, sorry, Lolly has a question. Sorry, sorry, Lolly. Sometime and someday. Okay, my, 
pretty close. Sometime, I think, is, is a shorter distance. Someday is very far. So like, or it may not happen. Like, for example, oh, someday I want to see Lolly in France. <laughs> I don't know when. Um, I hope if I have enough, you know, we never know the future. You know, if, if I make more money and I have free time, then it's a possibility, right? But um, so someday I want to go to see Lolly in France, okay? However, sometime is a little closer. So um, let's have coffee sometime. Okay, I'll give you a call next week. So that, that, that's, that's shorter in time, more realistic. So maybe someday, it's kind of maybe a dream. <laughs> someday I will travel the world. Someday I will be a great YouTuber, something like that. So that's more like a dream maybe. That, that's kind of my thinking. Okay, Lolly, understand? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, here we go, everyone. Pencil and paper. Okay, you got it, good, Lolly. Say boo, say ball. You need your pencil and paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. This is dictation practice. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go fast, three times fast. Don't worry because then we will go slow. All right, so first is fast and then it's slow. So if you, and today's uh, sentences are a little long today, a little long, so it might be difficult, but that's okay because I will go slow as, as well. So we're gonna go fast and slow. The first, the first round, eight cards, fast. Okay, here we go, pencil and paper ready, everyone. Countdown, I will say each sentence three times fast. Three. Three times fast. Three times fast. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. She'll see us sometime in the future. Oh, I'm going to give you some time. Okay, here's the second time. She'll see us sometime in the future. She'll see us sometime in the future. Okay, that was card one. Card two, here we go. Let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. Okay, card three. <clears throat> She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to, <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> water, water. Sometimes I talk too fast. I um. <laughs> okay, here we go. Third time. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. Okay, card number four. Let's have a family reunion sometime this... Stop. Okay, we're getting... We're going to do it again. Sorry, everybody. Here we go. Countdown. This is card number four. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in in the summer. Okay, here we go. Card number five. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I 
I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. Okay, card number six. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Card number seven. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Card number eight. Last card. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. That was fast. Now we will go slow, okay? So I went fast. If you didn't catch all the words, this is the time to check your sentence to see if any words you got wrong or any words you left out or any words you didn't catch the first time. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say each card again, slowly now. Okay, here we go. Card number one, count down, five, four, three, two, one. She'll see us sometime in the future. She'll see us sometime in the future. She'll see us sometime in the future. Card number two. Let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. Okay, card number three. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. Okay, card number four. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Card number five. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. Okay, number six. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Okay, number seven. Forgot my umbrella today, 
but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. Oh, okay, Sabo, hold on, wait, Sabo. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. Okay, good, good, good. That was dictation. You're listening and writing. Now it's time to shadow. And um, that is speaking practice. So not writing practice, but speaking practice. And, and Sabo has a question. Reunion. What does reunion mean? Reunion means to get together, right? You get together. And so, for example, there are school reunions, right? So you get together with old classmates. There, there's two typical reunions. Your, your um, class reunion, like your high school reunion, or, you know, some people. Here in Japan, people get together with their junior high school um, friends or you know so they have like a junior high school reunion in America it's high school reunion that's the normal reunion so you so after so my high school reunion 40 year reunion right was like last year and so everyone gets together and you see your old friends and a family reunion is you know, the cousins and uncles and aunts and, and um, everyone gets together, right? The whole family gets together. So that is a reunion, family reunion. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. This is, yeah, happy time. A reunion is a happy time. That's right, Sleepwalker. Okay, here we go. It is time to shadow. This is speaking practice. So I want you to say the sentence with me. So you're going to be using two skills at the same time, your listening skills and speaking skills. Input, output, input, output. It's a challenge, but that's why you're here. So we will shadow each card three times. Then I will show you the card. You will see the picture. You will see the sentence. And we will talk about the meaning of the sentence. Okay, here we go. You're welcome, Sable. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. She'll see us sometime in the future. She'll see us sometime in the future. She'll see us sometime in the future. Okay, so we, we, you said the sentence with me, right? So now I'm going to show you the card and you can see the sentence, you can see the picture. And I will explain the sentence. Okay, she'll see us sometime in the future. So, at some point, they will have, you know, they will see each other. They don't know when exactly, but sometime in the future, they will get together and see each other. She'll see us sometime in the future. We don't know exactly, but sometime. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Let's catch up sometime next week. 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 So, um, catch up means to, so we ha when you haven't seen someone for a long time, and so you don't know what they're doing in their life. You don't know if they have a new job. You don't know if they have a new boyfriend or girlfriend. You don't know what they have been doing. So, catching up is you are talking to each other and telling each other 
what you have been doing, right? So if you if you see if, if you see your friend every week, for example, you know what they're doing, right? You know if you know you don't you know their job, you know their their romantic life, you know what they have been doing. But if you haven't seen someone for a long time, you don't know about their life. You don't know. Uh, maybe they got a new job. Maybe they moved. Maybe you know their romantic life has changed. And and so um, catching up means to talk to each other and tell each other what you have been doing. Let's catch up sometime next week. Here we go. Card number three. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. So she doesn't know exactly. She's saving her money. That's her plan. She's going to travel to Europe. But she doesn't know exactly when, sometime in the future. Card number four. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. So they're going to plan a family reunion. Everyone's going to get together, the cousins and the aunts and uncles, nephews and nieces, grandparents. Everyone's going to get together and they're going to have a good time in the summer. <laughs> Let's have a family reunion in the summer. Number five. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. Right, so next time, not this occasion, but the next occasion, or not. So, for example, uh, she missed the bus today, but she will get it next time. So she will do. She will try to get it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. So <laughs> she has to walk today because she missed the bus, but next time she'll be early. So she can get the bus. Okay, here we go. Number six. Is that true, Marcos? Did you miss the bus today? <laughs> oh no, you are late. Okay, here we go. Card number six. Sorry, I'm late. I'll be early next time. 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 <laughs> oh no, she's angry. He's late, but he said sorry, and he won't be late again. Next time, he will not be late. He'll be early. Next time, he will be early. He will not be late because. He doesn't want her to be angry again. Sorry, I'm late. I'll be early next time. Here we go. Number seven. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. <laughs> okay, yeah. She's very angry, huh, Sleepwalker? Look at her. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. Here we go. 
forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Yeah, so sorry, can I borrow your umbrella today? I'll bring mine next time. Can I borrow your umbrella today? I'll bring mine next time. Can I borrow your umbrella today? I'll bring mine next time. There you go. That's right. Say sorry. Oh, okay. So, okay, good. I thought I didn't make a mistake. Okay. Ooh. Last time I made a mistake on the cards. Um, okay. So lolly. Okay. So the subject. So, so here I dropped the subject, right? But here the subject is at the, at the, at the second part of the of the phrase, right? So we have um, forgot my umbrella. You can say I forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Or you could just drop the subject because I'm talking and you know it's me, right? So I'm the subject. So um, oh, sorry, forgot my umbrella. I'll bring it next time. Or I can say, I forgot the umbrella, I'll bring it next time. So you can, so sometimes you can just drop the subject, right? You can take out the subject. Okay, good. So it, it really depends on who you're talking to, Lolly, uh, who, like, like, you know, the situation, I see you face to face. And so if, if, if it's another person, right? Oh, she forgot her umbrella. Right? You have to use the subject then if you're talking about someone else, right? Oh, Frank forgot his umbrella today, right? So you have to use the subject. But if it's you and I face to face and you, I'm talking and I go, ah, oh, forgot the umbrella today. I'll bring it next time. So you know it's me. So I can take off the subject. Okay. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Um, Helga, what do you mean? Like, forget it. <laughs> so it depends on the situation. So, um, you forgot it, right? Forget it. That that's a different Helga. Forget it is like, um. That's like, don't bother. So, oh, Helga, um, I'm sorry, can I use your umbrella? I forgot my, ah, forget it, it's okay. So you're, so that, that expression, forget it. That means don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, so I think, I'm not sure exactly what, what do you mean? Like, or you forgot it, right? So maybe, um, Maybe you're thinking like, oh, Helga, I forgot, you know, I forgot my umbrella. I'll, you know, and you go, you forgot it, right? Because it's pouring rain. And so you're, you're saying, you forgot it. Is that what you mean? Tetsuo, does happy time mean happy time at home? Well, we, we, we don't say happy time because um, happy, like that's an adjective. So, so you, it's not, it's not, it's kind of grammatically wrong, but it, it will be a happy time. You can say that. That's so let's have a family reunion. Oh, it will be. You wouldn't say happy, like, okay, so it'll be a, a, it'll be a nice time. So, so Tetsuo, so this situation, the, the, so, so Tetsuo asks, um, can a subject be omitted? It can be omitted if you, we know who the subject is. Like you're talking, so in this situation, I'm talking to you and I say, Forgot my umbrella, right? You know it's me. So I just dropped the subject. But if you're talking about someone else, 
you have to include the subject. So she forgot her umbrella. He forgot his umbrella. Uh, Sue forgot her umbrella. So, so it, it, but if I'm talking to you, we're face to face, I can just say, forgot my umbrella again. Oh boy, forgot my umbrella again. So I omitted the subject, but you know I'm the subject. Okay, okay, Sabo, you can borrow my umbrella. There you go, thank you. Or can can I borrow your umbrella? Is that what you mean, Sabo? Can I borrow your umbrella? So, right, so forgot my umbrella today. Can I borrow your umbrella? Forgot my umbrella today. Can I borrow your umbrella? Okay, here we go. One more, everyone. Here we go. Card number eight. Let's do it. We got, we got more to do. We got more to do. One more. And then we will go to take turns. So let, let's, let's speed it up here. Okay, here we go. Card number eight. Last card. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. So here she's too much work. She's tired. Lots of work to do. So she has no time to exercise. So she'll do it next time. Today she's too busy. So she'll exercise next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, D, I plus 62. Okay, let's check it off. There you go, we did shadowing. Now let's take turns. Now, what we do here, oh, Julia, you're welcome. Now what we do here is I will say the sentence and then you will say the sentence, but, when you say the sentence, I will cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by only looking at the picture. All right, it's a challenge. So anyways, um, when I'm talking, I want you to listen. And then when you are talking, I will listen to you. Here we go. Take turns. I'm going to go first. So when I'm talking, you are listening. Here we go. She'll see us sometime in the future. Okay, now it's your time. Go. Say the sentence. She'll see us sometime in the future. She'll see us sometime in the future. Let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. She's hoping to travel to Europe sometime in the future. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion 
sometime in the summer. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. I missed the bus today, but I'll catch it next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Forgot my umbrella today, but I'll bring it next time. Okay, here we go. Number eight, last card. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. No time to exercise now. I'll do it next time. Okay, good, good, good. That was taking turns. I said the sentence, then you said the sentence, but I covered it when, you're, when it was your turn, so you had a challenge. Okay, now it's time to do the quiz. So we're going to do now, I will shuffle the cards and choose three cards and cover the sentence. So you have to look at the picture and write the sentence in the chat. Look at the picture, write the sentence in the chat. Look at the picture, write the sentence in the chat. Okay, so <clears throat> by looking at the picture, that should help you remember the sentence. By looking at the picture, that should help you remember the sentence. Okay, here we go, I'm shuffling. So we don't know card one, we don't know what card two will be, and we won't know what card three will be. It will be a mystery. It's a challenge. It's a quiz. <laughs> okay. There we go. Are you ready? Card. All right, Lolly. Thank you. Here we go. Card number one. Look at the picture and write the sentence. Here we go. Number one. Here we go. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Look at the picture. Do you remember the sentence? Okay, Sleepwalker is on the board. Do you remember the sentence? Tetsuro is on the board. Julie is on the board. Helga's on the board. Sonia's on the board. Mitra's on the board. Oh, um, oh, James, I forgot your name. Um, I know you live in Korea. What's your name? It's, it's, it's James, no. You have to remind me. You have to write your name in English, please. <laughs> Marcos is on the board. Lolly's on the board. Mary's on the board. Samuel is on the board. Tim, 
Timothy. Okay, okay, Timothy, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'll forget again. So you have to remind me, Timothy. You have to write your name again. <laughs> okay, good, Marcos. Okay, here we go. And the sentence is I'm going to bring it down so you can see. How did you do? Did you remember correctly? And the sentence is Let's have a family reunion sometime in the summer. Let's have a family reunion sometime in the future. Okay, good, good, good. Here we go. Card number two. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. There you go. Sentence number two. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember? Matsura, hello. Hello, Matsura. It's okay, Julia. It's okay. Julia says, oh, I'm wrong. That's okay. You know, it's just practice, right? We are having a game. <laughs> This is a memory game, right? So we're doing a memory game. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, Julia, do you remember? Do you remember the sentence? How's your memory? <laughs> Did you ever, you know that game? It's a memory game. I forgot the name, but they're different colored lights and it's a pattern, right? And so it goes boop, 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 boop. And then you have to, after, after it finishes the pattern, then you have to do the same pattern. So you, you look at the, it's like a little toy machine, different lights and there's sounds. And it goes boop, 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 boop. Right? And so, like red, blue, green. So, I think maybe it's like four colors. And it goes, dee, 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 dee. right? And then, oh, now you have to do it. Do, do. And each step, it gets more and more difficult, right? There's more, you know, there's more lights. You have to, like, the, the, the pattern gets bigger. And gosh, what's that? I forgot. I, when I was a kid, I had that game. It's not Othello. But it's not Simon Says. Is it Simon Says? I'm, I'm not sure. But that's a, good, that's a good memory game. Yeah, sleep box. So each time, more colors. And the pattern, right? Like blue, blue. So maybe the first pattern is like blue, green, red. And then you go, okay, blue, green, red. That's easy. And then it goes... Blue, blue, green, red, red. All right. And so the pattern gets more and more difficult. That's a good game. It's good for your, your brain. And so this is good for your brain. This is kind of like that. This is a memory game. Okay, here we go. Okay, here is the sentence. It's coming down. And the sentence is, let's catch up sometime next week. Let's catch up sometime next week. One more time. Let's catch up sometime next week. Okay, good. Here we go. One more card. This is card number three. Do you remember the sentence? Here it is. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Sleepwalker is on the board. Okay, John's on the board. Tetsuo's on the board. Helga's on the board. Julia's on the board. Trolley is on the board. Lolly's on the board. 
Sonia's on the board. Mary's on the board. Okay, nice. Mitra. Samuel. <laughs> okay, everybody, here we go. And the sentence is, it's coming down, it's coming down right now. And it is, sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Sorry I'm late. I'll be early next time. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Sleepwalker, you heard that. So here in Japan, it's election time. And, and so during election time, the, the candidates, people who want to be mayor or, you know, so the, they want to work at City Hall, they want to be a elected representative, and they go around in a van with a loudspeaker and say, oh, this is like, okay, let's say I want to be mayor. And so I go around in a van going, please, you know, elect Mark. Hello, I'm Mark. Please vote for Mark. Please vote for me. And it's super noisy. I hate it. And it's stupid, right? Like, what's the point? All they, all they do is, yeah, yeah, they just go around, vote for me, vote for me. And it's like noisy and it, it, it's stupid. It, there's no meaning. They, they don't say what they're going to do. They're not going to say, oh, how we're going to make it better. They're not saying, oh, we're going to make, I'm going to do this and that, and I'm going to help these people. I will help those people. No, they just go around saying, vote for me, vote for me. It's just a bunch of noise. Ah, it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Okay, Tetsu has a question. So, uh, Mark, in conversation, we both know the subject. We can omit it. Yes. Yes, Tetsuro. Yes, you can. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So, that was dictation cards, everyone. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you did it. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's check it off. All right, so now we are going to activity number four. You're welcome, Tetsuro. Oh, Marcos. <laughs> Thank you, Marcos. <laughs> All right, now we're going to watch a video. Oh, oh, um, yeah, let's see. Did I put the comma? Did I put the comma? It, it kind of really depends on the situation. Um, okay, how about, okay, so, so, so she's, look, Helga's looking at this one right here. So actually, sorry I'm late, I'm late, sorry. So at the end, if you put sorry at the end, you need the comma. You can put it at the beginning, but my sentence, Sorry, I'm late. So it kind of runs together. But if you put sorry last, I'm late. Sorry. Right? So do you understand? Can you hear the pause? Sorry, I'm late. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. I'm late. Sorry. I'm late. Sorry. So I'm late, comma, sorry. I'm late. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. I'm late. Sorry. I'm late. Sorry. So you heard the situation there, Helga? So if I put it at the beginning, if I put sorry at the beginning, I don't need the comma. If I put it at the end, I need the comma. Sorry, I'm late. I'm late. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Good sleepwalker. So the pause is at the end, not at the beginning. Good questions. You guys challenge me. You guys challenge me. <laughs> like this was a challenge for you, but your questions are a challenge to me. So um, I hope I can answer your questions. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, Julia, good. 
Sometimes I can answer your questions. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to our next activity. Negative questions. We are going to watch a video and do a worksheet. Okay. So number four, negative questions. So we, we, we did a little bit of this before, but um, I think we talked about negative questions and maybe we watched the video, but there wasn't a worksheet. So I made a worksheet. So um, we have a video and a worksheet. So we'll first watch the video and then we will do the worksheet. Yeah, so, so I made a worksheet for the video. Okay, so let's first watch the video and then we will do the worksheet. Okay, so first video, there it is. Okay, let me, here we go. Negative questions, don't you like, don't you dislike? Or actually, you know what they were? I know, I remember, I made dictation cards. Yeah, so. I made dictation cards, and, and then after I, I made the dictation cards, I made a video and worksheets. That's right, I just remembered. So we did dictation cards a few weeks ago, maybe last month, we did dictation cards. So from the dictation cards, I made a video and a worksheet. So yeah, so let's practice Tetsuro. Okay, here we go. Negative questions. Okay, here. So this is an example. Have a hamburger. Do you have a hot dog? Don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like them. Okay, here we go. Let's roll. Oh, 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 oh. I think I need to. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. I need to check something make sure okay, okay everything's ready okay i didn't want the sound on okay here we go how about ice cream how about ice cream yeah sonia you remember do you have cake don't you like ice cream I do, but I feel like cake today. <laughs> Lolly. <laughs> How about ice cream? Do you have cake? Don't you like ice cream? I do, but I feel like cake today. Let's see a movie. How about a horror movie? Don't you dislike horror movies? No, I like them. <laughs> Good, Maya. Let's see a movie. How about a horror movie? Don't you dislike horror movies? No, I like them. Let's go kayaking. How about fishing? Don't you like kayaking? 
I do, but I feel like fishing today. Let's go kayaking. How about fishing? Don't you like kayaking? I do, but I feel like fishing today. Let's have steak. Woohoo! <laughs> How about noodles? Don't you dislike noodles? No, I like them. Let's have steak. How about noodles? Don't you dislike noodles? No, I like them. Let's read a book. How about gardening? Don't you like reading? I do, but I feel like gardening today. Let's read a book. How about gardening? Don't you like reading? I do, but I feel like gardening today. Let's play cards. How about a video game? Don't you dislike video games? No, I like them. Let's play cards. How about a video game? Don't you dislike video games? No, I like them. Do you want water? Do you have soda? Don't you like water? I do, but I feel like soda today. Do you want water? Do you have soda? Don't you like water? I do, but I feel like soda today. Let's play tennis. How about golf? Don't you dislike golf? No, I like it.
Let's play tennis. How about golf? Don't you dislike golf? No, I like it. Okay, here we go. Here's the quiz. What do you think? Okay. Does he like ice cream? Does he like ice cream? It's a test. That's it. Oh no, test. Test time. Does he like ice cream? Okay, we'll do the first one. You can see like how we do it here. So, does he like ice cream? And then you say, he does, but he feels like cake today. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. So the question, does he like ice cream? And then you say the answer. He does, but he feels like cake today. All right. So the question, does he like ice cream? And then you say he does, but he feels like cake today. All right. So that is how we're going to do it. So let's continue. Okay, here we go. Does he like horror movies? So this, this can be the answer is going to be a little different, right? So there's two, there's two patterns. So let's go back here, look at the patterns. So, um, okay, so, okay, so um, how about ice cream? Do you have cake? Don't you like? Ice cream? I do, but I feel like cake today, right? That's one pattern. And then the other pattern is the, right? Okay, let's see, let's see a horror movie. Or no, let's see a movie. How about a horror movie? Don't you dislike horror movies? No, I like them. Okay, so we got two patterns here. All right, how about ice cream? Do you have cake? And then, don't you like ice cream? And then the other pattern. Let's see a movie. How about a horror movie? Don't you dislike horror movies? No, I like them. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so does he like horror movies? And, and so, yes, he does. Okay, so, right? So, does he like ice cream? He does, but he feels like, feels like cake today. Does he like horror movies? Yes, he does. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so here we go. Okay, does she like kayaking? Does she like kayaking? Okay, good, John, yeah. That, that's, okay, so remember the second part, John? <laughs> so, she does, but what does she feel like? So, okay, good, Mary. Okay, Mary says, yes, she does, but she feels like fishing today. That, that's, that's the way. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's good. So, that's, that's the, 
That's the pattern here. So does she like kayaking? All right, so. Yeah, so she likes both, but she feels like fishing today, right? Right? Does she like kayaking? She does, but she feels like fishing today. She does, but she feels like fishing today. Good, Sabine. Okay, Sabo, welcome back, Sabo. We're doing a little quiz here. All right. Does she like noodles? Does she like noodles? Does she like noodles? Okay, yeah, it is. I, I, I just wanted to make a little, it is it is like a little confused. So it, it goes, remember, it's it's just for you to remember. It's just a, it's just kind of a challenge. So let's have steak. How about noodles? Don't you dislike noodles? No, I like them. Okay, so this person thought, so here, so does she like noodles? Yeah, I, I, it is a little like, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm confusing you. Yes, she does. So I, I know I'm, I just want to make it a little different right so i just want to make it there's two kinds of answers right so um so with negative don't you like steak don't like um like let's have steak uh do you have noodles don't you dislike noodles right so i didn't think you like noodles and then, oh yes i do right so um, the, the conversation in the video was, um, let's have steak. Do you have noodles? Don't you dislike noodles? Like, I didn't know you liked noodles. Don't you dislike them? And then, she, oh, no, I like them. Yes, I like noodles. I like them. And, and, and so it's just, and, and then the other pattern is, um, let's go kayaking or, and then, how about fishing? And then, um, don't you like kayaking? Don't you like, I, yes, I like kayaking, but I feel like fishing today. Let's go kayaking. How about fishing? Don't you like kayaking? Why don't you, why don't you wanna go kayaking with me? Well, today I feel like fishing, right? I like kayaking. But today, I feel like fishing. So it's just two ways to use negative questions, right? Don't you dislike it or don't you um, like? And so it's just two ways to use negative questions, right? So I'm just, in the second part, I just want you to use those two different ways. And so some of you, I know you're confused, so I'm sorry. So it's just, do you remember? So again, it's just kind of like, just like a memory game. You know, do you remember the first part? Like, all right, so it's just a challenge, you know, and, and if you're confused, I'm sorry. So yes, she does, right? She likes noodles. Okay, does he like reading? Uh, say, Bo, uh, different, borrow and lend. Uh, borrow, there's no money. Lend, there's usually money. It's the same thing, but like, um, 
or, or is it the, they mean the same, borrow, can I borrow your pencil, lend, can you lend me? So maybe you'd say, Sebo, um, can I borrow your pencil, can I borrow your pencil? Sure, here you are. Um, can you lend me your pencil, can you lend me your pencil? So you just, you just ask a different way. So can I borrow your pencil? Can I borrow your pencil? Can you lend me your pencil? Can you lend me? So it's just the way you say it's different. That's all. It's same meaning. It's just the way you say it. Can I borrow your pencil? Can you lend me? Can you lend me your pencil? So it's just the way you ask it is different, but the same meaning. Okay, uh, Mary, does he like reading? Mary says, um, yes, he does, but um, she feels like gardening. Yeah, so. Yeah, he does, but he feels like gardening today. That's okay, Mary. It doesn't matter. Okay, does she like video games? Does she like video games? Because it, I'm going to just go ahead. Okay, because it's time and we still have to do number five, Lolly's Revenge. So um, I'm going to roll the video, okay? I'm not going to stop it. Oh, okay, Maya, um, it's it, that you pronounce don't ya? <laughs> don't you? Don't ya? Yeah, I do. Um, so it's a blend, like uh, what you doing? So that's kind of like, they, they blend so that the t and you kind of go together, Mary. So so don't you, and there's, there's no pause in, when you're in, in speech. Don't you, there's really no pause in between, don't you, don't you, <laughs> don't you want to do it, don't you want to go, um, what you, what you doing there, what you doing Maya, don't you want to go, there's a couple other where um, the, the two sounds just kind of blend together, there's no pause in between, if you go slow, then there's a pause, don't you, and, and it's kind of hard for me to pause it. It, it doesn't feel natural, don't you? So it is, a, it is kind of a fluency thing, or it, it's actually like a native thing, because don't you, it, it does, it's not natural for me to, to pause it. It's more natural for me to blend it, don't you? Okay, here we go, let's just, Let's just roll. Let's keep it rolling there. You're welcome, Maya. So, yes, she does. Okay. Does she like water? So, I'm, I'm not going to stop it. She does, but she feels like soda today. She does, but she feels like soda today. Does he like to play golf? Yes, he does. Okay, so that was the video. So we're gonna do a worksheet now. Okay, let's do, let's do the worksheet. So you have more practice. We could practice more. And here is the worksheet. So let's look at the worksheet. So here is, So here we have, have a hot, have a hamburger, 
Do you have a hot dog? Don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs. Have a hamburger. Do you have a hot dog? Don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs. So that's our pattern. And um, so number one, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Number two, have some wine. Do you have beer? Number three, have some tea. Do you have coffee? Number four, have some chicken. Do you have shrimp? Five, have an apple. Do you have a pear? Six, have some pretzels. Do you have popcorn? Okay, sleepwalker, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Don't you dislike ice cream? No, I like ice cream. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, okay, okay, wait, okay. Let's see, hold on. Have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Don't you dislike ice cream? No, I like. Okay, no, that's good. Yeah, see, Parker, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're okay. That's good. There's like, yeah, two ways. You can do it. Okay, everybody, you can see what Sleepwalker did. Or you can go, um, for example, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Uh, don't you dislike Okay, yeah, or, or uh, don't you like cake? Yes, I like cake. Yeah, okay, there's two ways to do it, right? There's two ways. Sorry, I don't want to confuse you. Okay, uh, Trolley, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Don't you dislike ice cream? No, I like ice cream. Okay, sleepwalker number two, have some wine. Do you have beer? Don't you dislike beer? No, I like beer. Good. Okay, Tetsuo, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Don't you dislike ice cream? No, I like ice cream. Okay, Sleepwalker, have some tea. Do you have coffee? Don't you dislike coffee? No, I like coffee. Matsura, have some ice cream. Do you have... Okay, no, no, no. So have some cake, Matsura. So you have to be careful. So you should say, um, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Don't you dislike ice cream? No, I like ice cream. Helga, have some wine. Do you have beer? Don't you dislike beer? No, I like beer. Hello, D L I. You. Mary, have some cake. Do you have ice cream? Don't you like cake? No, I do, but I feel like cake today. Yeah, that's good. Or I feel like ice cream today. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting, I'm, I'm more, I'm tired today. That's good, Mary. Yep, yeah, there's there's a couple ways to do it, right? There's a couple ways to do it. Tetsuo, have some wine. Do you have beer? Don't you dislike beer? No, I like beer. Might try have some tea. Do you have coffee? Don't you dislike coffee? No, I like coffee. Okay, John, do you want some tea? Do you drink coffee? Don't you dislike tea? Yes, but I feel like, but I feel like, uh, okay, okay, John, I, one more time, John, you're, be careful. Be careful with your sentence. Tetsuo, have some tea. Do you have coffee? 
Don't you dislike coffee? No, I like coffee. Sleepwalker, I have some chicken. Do you have shrimp? Don't you dislike shrimp? No, I like shrimp. Um, okay. Okay, Matsa, you could say dislike or don't like. Same meaning. Either way is okay. You can say dislike or don't like. Same, same meaning. Tetsu, have some chicken. Do you have shrimp? Don't you dislike shrimp? No, I like shrimp. Samuel, have some wine. Okay, do you have beer? Samuel, you're welcome. D L I U. Trolley, have some chicken. Do you? Okay, everyone have to, you guys have to look at the sentence. You have to look at the words. So I'm going to make it bigger. So everyone be careful. Look, look carefully. There you go. See? See, guys, join my Patreon and you get the worksheet. And then you can have it on your computer and you can have it. You can see it. You can touch it. You can have it. You can see it. You can touch it. And you will um, do better. Join my Patreon and get the worksheets and you won't make so many mistakes because you can see it easily. Hold on, I gotta make it a little bit smaller. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Here we go. You can see it all now. You can see the the top, right? The yellow, the white and yellow, that A B A B. There's your sample example. There you go. So everyone be careful when you're writing your sentences. Tetsu, have some pretzels. Do you have popcorn? Don't you dislike popcorn? No, I like popcorn. Mary, have some tea. Do you have coffee? Don't you dislike coffee? No, I like coffee very much. Okay, let's look at, I'm going to go down here. Okay, and then we have um, seven and eight. Have a croissant. Do you have a donut? Have some pizza. Do you have a sandwich? And then number nine is your own uh, original conversation. Okay, so um, John, look, it says an apple. Okay, John, you're doing okay, John. Yeah, so shrimp, <laughs> shrimp can be uncountable, yeah. Usually it's uncountable, Mary, shrimp. Most cases, it's, it's uncountable. Like chicken. Okay, Cecilia, have an apple. Do you have a pear? Don't you dislike pears? No, I like pear. Or I like pears. Okay, Tetsuro, have a croissant. Do you have a donut? Don't you dislike donuts? No, I like donuts. So, so, um, 
when, so usually, right, we use the S, like when you're just saying, um, do you like apples? Don't you like apples? Don't you like donuts? Don't you like croissants? Right? So have an apple, have a croissant. Don't you like apples? No, I like apples, right? And so, like here, right? You can see example. Have a hamburger. Do you have a hot dog? Don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs. Okay, so it's, a, I know this is difficult. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is difficult. So have a hamburger. Do you have a hot dog? Don't you dislike hot dogs? So I'm asking you like in general, in general, not like, oh, I, I'm, I, I'm having a barbecue, right? Oh, have a hamburger. I'm in a barbecue. Do you have a hot dog? And then it's like, don't you dislike hot dogs? So I'm talking generally, right? And then, no, I like hot dogs. So then you're talking generally, not, not this hot dog, right? Have a hot dog here in my hand or I'm on my barbecue. I'm making hot dogs. I'm making hamburgers, right? And, and so um, you can see it and I'm, I'm offering, oh, here, have a hot dog. Have a hamburger. And then, so, oh, have a hamburger. Ah, uh, do you have a hot dog? Oh, don't, wait, 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 hold on. Don't you dislike hot dogs, right? I'm in general, and so I'm using the S, plural. Don't you dislike hot dogs? All hot dogs, non demo, any hot dog. I, I don't like, I don't like hot dogs with mustard. I don't like hot dogs with chili. I don't like hot dogs. I don't like any hot dogs. Doesn't matter. Any restaurant, any barbecue. I do not like hot dogs. Okay in general so you can see the difference have a hamburger do you have a hot dog don't you dislike hot dogs no i like hot dogs okay so i'm seeing some people making that mistake okay helga have some oranges do you have bananas don't you dislike bananas no, I like, okay, that's good. Or um, you can say, have some oranges. Do you have banana, right? And so maybe, okay, Helga's situation, oranges. So they're, they're cut, they're sliced. And so there's many slices of, or of, of, of oranges. And then, you know, like a fruit salad, right? You, you cut up the oranges, put them in, cut up some bananas, put them in there, right? And then, um, oh, have some oranges. So so the oranges are, you know, on a, on a plate. So we got some fruit on a plate, right? We got some strawberries, we got some oranges, we got some apples, we got some bananas. So they're cut. So maybe you have a fork or you have a, a toothpick. And so, oh, have some apples. Oh, do you have bananas? Oh, here, right here. Okay, thank you. So, it, it, it's you have to yeah so it, it's kind of like what's the situation right um right and, and, and so even it's 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 not we're practicing and we're not like at a party we're not at a restaurant so we have to be figuratively right it's not it's not you know, we, it's not a real situation, right? So that's the, that's the hard part about a classroom, right? We're not actually there. And, and so sometimes it's hard for us to imagine the situation, right? Because we are just imagining, right? We're like, okay, we're, you know, here's some foods, but there's no food. We're just talking. We can't, we're not at a barbecue, right? There are no hamburgers here. There are no hot dogs here. And, and, and so we're just practicing. We're 
trying to use our imagination. And so we're being figurative. And so it's hard being figurative, right? And so it's easy for you to make mistakes. So it, it's difficult, I know. Because we're just using our, we're just using our imagination. It's not real. And, and that's, that's the challenge, right? So we're in a classroom. And so we're just, it's not real. We're just imagining. Okay, let's see. Um, Mary says, have some chicken. Do you have shrimp? Don't you like, don't you dislike shrimp? No, I like it a lot. That's good. Lolly says, um, have some onion pie. Do you have some pizza? Don't you dislike pizza? No, I like it. Yeah. Now, now see, pizza is uncountable, right? So there's no S. So that that's, it, it's always, remember the countable and uncountable. So that's what's always, that, that's what's difficult here, I think. The, the countable and uncountable. So for example, hamburger, hamburgers, right, that you eat, that those are countable, right? And hot dogs, right? They're countable. So have a hamburger, do you have a hot dog? So with a, you use with countables, right? So a equals countable. Okay, and then no a equals uncountable. So, so, for example, um, Mary's, Mary's um, sentence, Lolly's sentence, they are using uncountable nouns. So there's no ah. But if you use hamburger, then you need, don't you like hot dog? Okay, if you use hot dog, that's countable. A uh, hot dog. So then, don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs dogs. Okay, if you use um, uncountable, then there's no S. So for example, Lolly said, have some onion pie. Pie is uncountable, so it's no S. And, um, and then, uh, do you have pizza, right? Uncountable, there's no S. So there's no uh, right? Do you have pizza? Don't you dislike pizza? So it's always going to be pizza, 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 pizza. It's always going to be pie, pie, pie. However, countable is going to be a, uh, and then it'll be s, right? So, do you have a hot dog? Don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs. So it it changes. So that's that's what's difficult. The the um, right have a. Uh, don't you dislike hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs. So that that's that's the difficulty. Charlie, have some egg. Do you have pizza? Don't you dislike pizza? No, I like it. Okay. Cecilia, have some pizza. Do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike? Okay, now. Don't you dislike sandwiches? Okay, so here, okay, Cecilia, this is a good example. So have some pizza, that is uncountable. Have some pizza. And then, oh, do you have a sandwich? So a sa do you have a sandwich? And then you would say, don't you um, dislike sandwiches? Have or do you have a sandwich? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, okay. So do, do you have a sandwich? Okay, so, okay, ah, we have ah right here. It's countable, 
Okay, so we have ah. Do you have a sandwich? Now I'm going to say, don't you dislike sandwiches? So now there's the S. Okay, so countables we use S. Okay, so countables we use the S. Uncountable we don't use the S. So ah, uh, and there's no S. But then when you use generally, then we use the S. Do you have a sandwich? So, do you have a sandwich? Do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches? Here we go one more time.、Um, do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches? <laughs> one more time. Do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches? Okay, and then. For uncountable, for example, pizza. It's always pizza, 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 pizza. No s. Okay. So uncountable. There's no a、uh, and no s. Countable. There is a a、uh, and an s. Okay. So, do you have pizza? Do you have pizza? There's no ah, right? There no ah. Do you have pizza? Do you have pizza? Okay. Don't you dislike pizza? All right. Okay. Don't you dislike pizza? Okay. No s. No ah. No s. Do you have pizza? Don't you dislike pizza? Don't you dislike pizza? Okay. Countable sandwich. One, two, three. We can count sandwiches. Do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches? Okay. Countable. We're using both. We're using there's a and s both. Do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches? Uncountable, no s, no ah.、Uh. Do you have pizza? Don't you dislike pizza? Good, good, Tetro. That's okay. You know we're learning. Tetro says I need to get used to negative questions. Yeah, and it's very common. It's 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 a good thing to know. Okay, Maya. I think you. When you mean a kind of dish in general, then it's uncountable. And when you mean how many of the dish you want, one pizza. Oh, okay. Now, okay. So now you're talking. Okay. So、um, Maya, in so, so you can、um, count particles. So it's like part, or it's called.、Um, it, it's called.、Um, What you're talking about, it's it's called、um, particles. No, no, no.、Um, but you could say, like for example, or counters, counters, like a slice of pizza. So water. Okay. <laughs> so see, people get more and more confused. So that's what, like,、uh, when we start getting more into、um, detail, then it gets more confusing for people. So Maya, your situation's different. You want to like okay. For example, water. Okay, so、um, do you have water?、Um, don't you dislike water? Now, so water is uncountable, but a bottle of water. Do you want a bottle of water? So we can count bottles. So when you、um, dish, you mean like okay, a slice of pizza. Let's get a slice of pizza. 
So when you're when you're just offering, so let's let's just do this for now, okay? Okay, Maya, let's for I don't want people to get confused. This is what we're practicing now, okay? So this is the pattern we're practicing. So for uncountables or for countables, one, two, three, we can count. We're gonna say, do you want a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches, okay? And then for uncountable, do you have pizza? Don't you like pizza, okay? We're gonna keep it simple. Okay, Mary, do you, okay, have an apple. Do you have a pear? Don't you like apples? No, I like them, but I feel like pears today. That's good. Perfect, Mary. Yeah, so let's just keep it this pattern, okay? Even though like there's ways to count things, like Maya, her, her, her question, her comment, but today we're gonna just keep it like this. Okay, because we could get very confused. Yeah, so let's let's do number nine. Okay, everyone. So let's practice. So let's do number nine. That's you make your own conversation. Okay, number nine, and you can so choose a countable or uncountable food. Okay, and then you. You make your own, okay? So here, so our example, a hamburger, a hot dog, right? And then, and then number two, some wine, some beer. Those are uncountables, right? So that's like pizza and tea. So wine, beer, tea, coffee is like pizza. And a hamburger, a hot dog, that's like a sandwich. So let's make some sentences or conversations, A, B, A, B, okay? Okay, trolley, have some egg. Now, okay, egg, when you say egg, that means like not in the shell, right? So egg like this, this is countable. Eggs, like, okay, if it's, that's an egg, we count that. But if it's like scrambled, then yeah, egg, like we say scrambled eggs. We usually put an S there, trolley. So don't use egg, okay? So it, Sometimes we, so sometimes egg can be egg, sometimes it can be egg. It depends how you are making the egg. It depends on what you are cooking, okay? So sometimes you say egg, sometimes you say eggs, okay? So it depends on what you're cooking, what you're doing with the egg. Okay, Lolly says, would you like some beer? Do you have some champagne? Don't you dislike champagne? I like it a lot. That's very good, Lolly. I hate champagne. <laughs> Matza, have some pizza. Do you have, okay, now, okay, so Matsura. Ah. Uh, Sandwich. Sandwiches, there's no, there's no ah. Uh. Ah, uh, see, this is difficult. Okay, Matsura. Here we go. <laughs> see, oh, this is difficult. Ah, uh, it's not Matsura, no, I'm happy. I'm happy because everybody's learning, right? So this is good, Matsura. It's my challenge. Challenge for me. Okay, so this is, so a sandwich, one. K, 
Okay, a sandwich, and then two sandwiches. Okay, so we have more. So we have, we have one. I'm not gonna do two because it could be. So we have one, right? Here's one sandwich. How can I? Ah, oh, that's a bad sandwich. Okay, so we have a sandwich, and then we got we got we got more sandwiches here. Ah, bad drawings. Sorry. So we got more sandwiches. Yes, we got. It's a sandwich party. Yay, sandwich party. Okay, so then we got sandwiches. There's no ah. So if you have sandwiches, there's no ah. One, we got ah. Like here. Do you have a sandwich? Don't you dislike sandwiches? There's no ah. Here, there's no S. A sandwich. No, no S. No S. Here, no ah, uh, we have an S. So here, ah, uh, there's no S. Here, no ah, uh, there's an S. Okay, now Tetsuro, munchies, those, that's like various, so have some, you need some there for munchies, because munchies, potato chips, cookies, uh, snacks. Okay, munchies, Tetsuro equals snacks. So you, you have to use some, have some munchies. Do you have rice crackers? Don't you dislike rice crackers? No, I like rice crackers. So you have a good sentence, a good conversation, but you need some for munchies. Have some munchies. Sleepwalker, have some milkshake. Do you have orange juice? Don't you dislike orange juice? No, I like it. That's good, Sleepwalker. That's good. No mistake. Mat Oh, good, good, good. Timothy, join my Patreon page. Get all the worksheets. Go to my Patreon. $5 each month. Join my Patreon and you get all the worksheets. You get lots of practice. Many, many worksheets. Okay, Matsura, have a hamburger. Do you have a hot dog? Don't you like hamburgers? Matsura, don't you like hamburgers? Lolly, Mark, would you like some champagne? Do you have some beer? Don't you dislike beer? No, I like it, but I, huh? One more time, Lolly, check. One more time, you need to fix. Huh? Wait, 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 Lolly. Mark, would you like some champagne? And then I say, do you have some beer? Lolly, you say, don't you dislike beer? And I say, no, I like it, but I... Yeah, I hate champagne, right? I'm asking for beer because I like beer. Okay, Mary, do you, okay, Mary, have some chocolate. Do you have cookies? Don't you like chocolate? Yes, I like it, but I feel like cookies today. Very good, that's good. Yes, Mary. Okay, Matsa, have a sandwich. Do you like pizza? Don't you dislike sandwiches? No. 
Okay, Matra, no, no. Matra, you have to join my Patreon. You need, you need the worksheets. You need them. You can see. Matra, please join my Patreon. $5 each month. You get all the worksheets. You need the worksheets because the worksheets, you have examples and you can slowly study. Okay, Matsura, you, you need the worksheets. You need to see the sentences. Okay, Matsura, you should join my Patreon. Sleepwalker, have a cupcake. Do you have chocolate? Don't you dislike chocolate? No, I like it. Yes, that's correct. Trolley, have some apple juice. Do you have cola? Don't you dislike cola? No, I like it. That's good. But I hate champagne. Yeah, I hate champagne. So, so uh, okay, let's see, Lolly. Okay, Mark, would you like some champagne? Do you have beer? Don't you dislike beer? No, I like beer. No, but I, yeah, no, Lolly. So your situation, um, would you like champagne? Do you have beer? Don't you, don't you like champagne? No, I hate it. Okay, so Lolly, you have, Lolly, you say, Mark, have some champagne. I say, do you have beer? And then you say, don't you like champagne? I go, no, I hate champagne. Okay, Ella, have some mashed potatoes. Do you have a baked potato? Don't you dislike baked potatoes? No, I like baked potatoes. Ella, that's it. That's good, Ella. That's correct. That's good. Okay. Okay, Lolly, guess what? No time for, no time for Lolly's revenge today. I'm sorry, Lolly. We are like, it's been two and a half hours. <laughs> I need to do like a three hour class. I can't do a three hour class today. I'm tired. But um, we don't have time for Lolly, Lolly's revenge today. I'm sorry. Okay, we are going to come back tomorrow. <laughs> we are going to come back tomorrow and we will, um, we will do some more practice tomorrow. Okay, so we are going to come back tomorrow we will have more practice tomorrow. Um, we cannot do Lolly's, Lolly's Revenge today. Oh, the poll. That's okay. Good, good. Thank you. We can do the poll. Hey, Marco says, have some chicken wings. Do you have French fries? Don't you like chicken wings? Yes, but I'd rather have French fries. Good, good. Um, Marcos, have, have French fries. So one more time, Marcos, have some chicken wings. Do you have French fries? Don't you like chicken wings? Yes, but I'd rather have French fries. 
Samuel, have some French fries. Don't you dislike French fries? Yes. <laughs> but, I, okay, no, Samuel, no. That doesn't work. So, have some French fries. Don't you dislike French fries? Yes, that doesn't make sense. Oh, Lolly, you're very kind. I'm sorry. Today, no time for Lolly's revenge. Next week. Uh, Marcos, I'd rather have some French fries. Yes, yes. Okay, um, let's look at the poll, everyone. So in the blue box, top of the chat, there's a blue box. There's a quiz today. I, we always do a quiz in the poll lately. 105 people voted. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, here we go. This is at the top of the chat. There's a blue box, and it's a quiz, and the quiz is like this. My doctor told me I was. Mm. So I'm going to eat fruit this month. Or only, sorry. So I'm only going to eat fruit this month. One more time. My doctor told me I was. Mm. So I'm only going to eat fruit this month. Is it tall? Is it overweight? Is it skinny? Is it average? Okay, so is it? My doctor told me I was tall, so I'm only going to eat fruit this month. Or is it, my doctor told me I was overweight, so I'm only going to eat fruit this month. Or is it, my doctor told me I was skinny, so I'm only going to eat fruit this month. Or is it, my doctor told me I was average, so I'm only going to eat fruit this month. Is it tall? Is it overweight? Is it skinny? Is it average? Which one is correct? <laughs> okay, I, you guys got the correct answer, yes. I see it, you got the correct answer. It is overweight, overweight. My doctor told me I was overweight, so I'm only going to eat fruit this month. Good luck on your fruit diet. <laughs> yes, I'm an overweight. It's, that is the correct word, overweight. Yes, John. Okay, good, good, everyone. Yes, yeah, Samuel, so overweight, is the correct. So if you're overweight, you need to lower your weight. You need to you need to lose some kilos. You need to get your weight down. If your doctor says you're overweight, you need to get it down. You got to lose some pounds or you got to lose some kilo kilo kilograms. Okay. Let's come back tomorrow. This time tomorrow, right? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll be here Wednesday, 5 p.m. Please come back and see me tomorrow. And join my Patreon. You guys get all the worksheets you could practice at home. It's only $5 each month, and you get all the worksheets. There are, there's probably over 100 or more right now. So there are many, many, many. So good practice for you. Maya says, unfortunately, in case of overweight, it's better to eat vegetables, which is not that tasty. <laughs> yeah, so it's better to have vegetables. So I should have said vegetables, not fruit. Oh, my mistake. Thank you, Maya. So, yes, vegetables are better than fruit for you and for losing weight. Thank you, Marcos. Oh, Lolly. Lolly says, join the Friendly Green Team. Yes, yes. That's another way to support me, help me. Join the Green Team. Your name will be in green. You help me. I help you. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Thank you, Maya. Good to see you. Take care, Maya. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with me. And I will be back tomorrow. Please come back and see me tomorrow. How to join? You hit the join button. 
right there. I think there's a join button right there. You hit that. And there's my Patreon. There's a link in the Patreon. Go there, John. Get the worksheets. Get the cards. They're all there. Lolly's Revenge is there too. And Summer Shopping, that's there. All these worksheets are there. The cards, the worksheets, Lolly's Revenge, everything is there. Okay. Timothy, I remember your name. Timothy, change it, write it in English. So I won't ask you again. <laughs> What's your name? Because I can't read Korean. Um, was it Hangul? The Korean writing, is that called Hangul? Hangoru, something like that? Okay, Ella, thank you, Maya. <laughs> Maya, I always make mistakes. Always. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Mwah. You guys are very kind to me. I appreciate it. Say, Bo. Yeah, just hit the join button right there, and you be your name will be in green, and you'll be part of the green team. And I just want everyone to go to my Patreon, join me there, get the worksheets. We could do the worksheets together, and I think that would help you because you can, you'll have it right there with you, right there with you. So it's, it's better for you to have the worksheet in your hand. Join me there. Support me. It, it takes, it's a lot, it's hard. It takes me a lot of time to make these. So um, if you join Patreon, that, that helps me a lot. So um, I make these for you so you guys could, um, you know, have a, 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 a better time. I think if, during our live stream class, if you have the worksheet, I think you can enjoy it, the class more because... It's more like a real class then. Anyways, do what you want. The, the important thing is you're here with me. That is number one. So that's, that's the best. So you're here with me. If you, if you want to um, the worksheets, please join my Patreon. Um, but the important thing is you're here with me. Yeah. Love you. I will be back tomorrow. Thank you, Timothy. All right, so let's count down to saying goodbye together, okay? So here we go. Let's count down together. Five, four, three, two, one. Mwah. Love and peace, everyone. Thank you. Smile, be healthy, stay safe, and I will be back tomorrow. Thank you. Mwah. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.